Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, 7.30, come all on. All right, all right, I'm up. Come on, prove it. Knock on the other side of this door. All right, I'm not up, now push off. I warn you, I shall count to three and then I shall burst into song. I'm up. <laughs> That's a nice night dress you've got on. What? I can see everything you've got. <laughs> Very nice, too. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? That's rude, Chrissy. There's no need to do rude gestures like that. You can't see a thing. True, true. But as a special treat, I shall bring the breakfast in. A special treat for whom? Me. Push off. <laughs> oh, God. You'd sleep through anything, you would. I'm wide awake. No, you're not. You've just practiced saying that in your sleep. <laughs> what time is it? 7.30. Your alarm didn't go off. Never does. You have to shake it first. <laughs> <laughs> See? I said one for the money, two for the show. I three to get ready and cool, cool, cool. I said, bless me. <laughs> Don't you step up. Why can't you be all sour and grumpy first thing in the morning, like the rest of the human race? <laughs> Look at it this way, Chrissy. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. You've been reading matchboxes again, haven't you? <laughs> Listen, there's never going to be another Thursday like this. It's unique. It's Friday. Well, that's pretty unique for a Thursday. <laughs> and why do you keep bolting your bedroom door? Because I don't trust you. Oh, no, Chrissy. It's not me you don't trust. It's yourself. And I'm bung up the keyhole. <laughs> it just isn't necessary. Ah, how did you know the keyhole was bunged up? Aha! <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's Joe. She just put her bare foot on the liner or something. Oh, in the bedroom. It ran straight across my foot. Go and get rid of it. What? A bicycle? A steam roller? <laughs> oh, a mouse! A mouse! Oh, we don't have mice in this flat. Will you go and tell it then? Don't relax, relax. <laughs> I'll sort him out. You're going to cook it? <laughs> If I should die, think only this of me, but in some corner of a foreign bed. Oh, get on with it. We shall fight them on the beaches. And we shall fight them. <laughs> Calm down. It was probably more frightened than you were. Why? I'm not going to run up its leg. I hate mice. <laughs> Don't leave me. It might come running out or something. Look, it's not after you, it's after the food. Food attracts pests. Can I borrow some sugar? See what I mean? <laughs> Only enough to put in me coffee, which I'm also going to borrow off you. What about milk? Ah, oh, yeah, I was coming to that. <laughs> Hello, Joe. What's up with you then? Oh, I just had a fright. Oh, you should have seen me before I had a shave. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's no good. Couldn't find it. Hello, mate. What are you looking for? Huh? A mouse. Here, I've got one upstairs. You can have that if you like. <laughs> Here. It's not brown, is it? It's not brown with the tip of its tail missing. I think so. I've done that. Upstairs. I was chasing it with an egg whisk. <laughs> I might have known you'd have something to do with it. You chased it down here. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll let you have the egg whisk. It's yours anyway. <laughs> My egg whisk? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, thanks for the, uh... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you. All right, all right, all right. Who lent it to him? Well, when he was decorating, he ran out of sticks to stir his paint with. <laughs> That's marvellous. <laughs> George. George, she's on her deathbed, George. <laughs> They've only been married a week. These are their last few tender moments together. And I can't hear a blind word for you and your pickles. <laughs> what? Pickles, George. Oh, yeah. Here you are. I didn't know you liked them. <laughs> oh, honest. You can't follow a film in this house unless you've got subtitles. Look at it. Peanuts, crisps. <laughs> Celery? You even drowned out in the world at war. <laughs> I've turned it off, George. Hey? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking to myself. Oh, yeah? What about? About how I couldn't hear the film because of your nattering. Oh. <laughs> Why is it we cannot exchange two words without arguing? 
Well, we can. We can't. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to be in a good mood all day. Well, why? I'll tell you when you're in a good mood. Oh, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Not good enough. I'm in as a good bloody mood as you're going to get me. <laughs> now, why? My mother is coming on Monday to spend the week with us. Over my dead body. <laughs> George, it's her turn. We went down to stay with her last time. And that was over your dead body, as far as I remember. Yeah, I spent the whole week redecorating her kitchen. She had a paintbrush in my hand before I could get out of the car. She's coming, George. Now, Mildred, am I or am I not master in my own house? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Come on in. I'm not interrupting. Oh, no, no, dear. We're just in the middle of a friendly farrow. Oh, good. It's just that I thought I'd better come down and tell you we've got a mouse upstairs. A mouse? Oh, I can't... Hey, here. That's not allowed. It's in the lease. No pets. <laughs> it's just that I thought you being the landlord, you ought to know. Oh, uh, well, if his name's not on the rent book, it's not my responsibility. Oh, I can't abide mice. I take after my mother in that respect. Ah, I just put a few traps down. I mean, she can't stay in the same house as a mouse. Or some poison. I mean, that's usually very... <laughs> on the other hand, we don't want to persecute it, do we? What? I'll tell you what, leave it there for a week or two and it might go off on its own accord. George? Hey, your mother won't want to come here now, will she, with her mouse loose and that? She needn't know, George. Ah, yeah, well, I might accidentally phone and let it slip. <laughs> well, I'm only thinking of her, Mildred. Best cancel it, eh? <laughs> so I think I'll uh, tempt its palate with a port-fed Stilton. <laughs> I would have used camembert, but it's slightly overripe. <laughs> not we're trying to catch a mouse, not Egon Rone. <laughs> Chris, it's its last meal. Anyway, it's all I've got. Oh, Rover wasn't much help. How long will it take to chop it? Ah, oh, now that does depend on how cooperative the mouse is. Well, I'm not sleeping in that bedroom till it's gone. Oh, that's very wise, Joe. I tell you what, I tell you what, you can have my bed. Oh, that's nice. Where will you sleep? What? Well, I mean, seeing as you're sleeping in my bed, you know, and I don't mind the... You know, I mean, I'm not bothered, so uh, I'll have your bed. Oh, that's fair. I don't mind. Oh, I don't mind either. That's good. So, that's settled. Just a minute. <laughs> See you again. You're not sleeping in the same bedroom as me. Still don't trust yourself, eh? <laughs> Rubbish. Look, Chrissy, I could protect you. I mean, look, just think about it, right? You say you don't mind mice, but just, just think. You suddenly awake in the middle of the night, and you hear it. The scamper of feet on the lino, heading straight towards your bed. Yeah, that's why I don't want you in there. <laughs> Jesse, don't be hasty. I tell you what we'll do, we'll discuss it over a nice cup of coffee. We can't. Why not? Because your friend upstairs borrowed the last of our coffee this morning. <laughs> oh, oh, hello mate, what do you want? My sugar, milk, coffee. Well, right now. Won't tomorrow do? No, it won't do, Larry. All right, hang about. I mean, Larry, I'm sorry about this, but I've got two two girls downstairs waiting for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, this is Rosie. Rita, pleased to meet you. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, this this is Robin. He won't be staying. Are you a friend of Lawrence's? <laughs> Lawrence's? Uh, no, no. Oh, L L Lawrence? Oh, oh, yes, indeed, yes. We met at the laundrette. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Are you in the same line of business, then? Uh, no, 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 he's, uh, he's not a fashion photographer, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, we're in, on, in uh, yeah, I don't want to keep you. Know. Well, then, uh, nice to meet you. Pleasure, I'm sure. <laughs> Cost for a... Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Larry, look, I'm sorry about you know. No, don't worry, I've got plenty of time. She's going to miss her last bus, isn't she? She is? <laughs> yeah. I'll put my watch back 20 minutes. Oh, cheeky little Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> now then, uh, where was I? You was telling me about uh, modelling opportunities. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, films and uh, television. Oh, films, television, radio. <laughs> for, the, uh, for the right girl, you know, with the, with the right attitude, you know what I mean? Oh, it's wide open. I reckon you could... Uh... Something moved. Yeah, well, yeah. It ran. It ran across... Oh, it's a mouse! <laughs> Thank you.
rise and shine. Come on. Oh, rise and shine. No way. Ugh. Just think, whoever marries you is going to have to look at that every morning. Oh. Ugh. Be like sleeping with a Brillo pad. <laughs> Listen, I've had no complaints so far. Mm. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Coffee. Oh, my leg, my leg, it's gone to sleep. That's the only bit of me that did go. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't have been that uncomfortable. Oh, my neck, it's so stiff. Come here. <laughs> Nothing in the mouse trap. Oh, I don't care. I'm not sleeping on the city again. Well, we'll see. Oh, oh, how do you mean? Well, I do feel a bit guilty about last night. <sighs> my, my knee, my knee hurts as well. Um, <laughs> and my back. I suppose you could have had Joe's bed. Oh, well, tonight perhaps I could sleep in Joe's bed tonight. Uh, See. Oh, good, good. That's that, you can't be fair on that, can you? Did you sleep well? Oh, what? Oh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, it's terrible. I didn't sleep a wink. Oh dear. Perhaps you ought to have your bed back. No, 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 no. You you keep my bed. You know, you stay there till we find the mouse. I mean, it could be weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I've run out of coffee. We only borrowed some yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah, but he borrowed it back, didn't he? <laughs> Hello, mate. Morning. Here, uh, how do you fancy coming out to Kempton Park for the day? Huh? No, I don't think so. I've, uh, I've got a dead cert for the 3.30. Uh, there are. Nothing doing. After last night, there's got to be an omen. <laughs> yeah, but you were in there last night. I mean, uh, well, anyone could have been in there. <laughs> That's what I thought. That was all going great, you know, those real tongue sandwich stuff. Then she sees that flaming mouse of yours. What, up in your flat? Yeah, it got hysterical, didn't she? I had to slap her face, she slapped me back. <laughs> sort of spoiled the mood of the evening, really. Yes, well, it would do, wouldn't it? Really? She damn near took the door off the hinges when she left. <laughs> Nothing doing, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 3, uh, 3.30, Kempton Park. <laughs> Still, I got the little beggar in the end. You what? I threw me radio at it. Clonk. What, you mean it's dead? Oh, I don't know, I switched it on. No, switch. the mouse! <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> Will you keep your voice down? Listen, do me a favour. Don't tell Joe Chrissy. I don't want to know that the mouse is dead, right? I made you a cup of coffee. Oh, so. Oh, no, 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 he hasn't got time. He hasn't got time. You know, it's, you've got to catch a train, haven't you? You know, what? Captain Park. Well, it's not, Harry. It's only 22. Yeah, I know, but it... No, it's not. It's, it's 10 o'clock. No, it can't be 10... Oh, God. I put me watch back 20 minutes last uh... night, didn't I? <laughs> Oh, good morning, son. Hi. Here, seen any more of our rodent friend then, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, I killed it last night. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> what, dead? Yeah, I threw me radio at it. Uh, 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 keep your voice down, son. Look, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Mrs. Roper about it, you see. I want her to think it's still alive. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right then, yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> good lad. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I could tell you, but I'm beginning to think it's a state secret. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, love. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Here. I thought she wasn't coming. She isn't, George. We're going down there to spend the week with her. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, not Dagden, Mildred. She's only got one bedroom. I'll be stuck on the camp bed in the scullery again. Oh, she might allow you into the front parlour this time, George. No, she won't. She'll have me redecorate in that. George! Here, what about that outside bog of hers? <laughs> you have to sit there with Arik and Lamp beating off the moths. Oh, yes. <laughs> We are going, George. I mean, she's an old lady. Next time we see her, it might be at her funeral. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind going down for that. <laughs> yeah, oh, and about that mouse, I, I've just remembered. You know the young fella, you know, the top flat? Well, he's, uh, he's killed it, disposed of it. No, he just told me. So, I mean, she can come here if she wants to. Oh, anything's better than going there. Oh, dear. You're not a very convincing liar, are you, George? We're going. <laughs> You shouldn't have stacked the plates. Why not? Now I've got to wash the bottoms as well. <laughs> hey, listen, Chrissy, is that the late edition? Yeah. Well, how did nothing doing get on? 3.30, Kempton. 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 3.30, nothing doing. It was scratched. I expect it's all those prickly fences they have to jump over. <laughs> do you think... 
Do you think she means that, or is she just putting us on? I think she means it. Look, don't talk about me as if I weren't here. Where did that voice come from? <laughs> Look, I wouldn't mind if I wasn't, because I wouldn't know. But I am, and I do, so don't. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, I think I'll go to bed. What? <clears throat> Well, I didn't get much sleep last night, not that bumpy, uncomfortable set either. All right, then you can sleep in Joe's bed. Oh, great. And I'll sleep on the settee. Yeah, fine. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, I mean, that's silly. Why? Well, I mean, you know, th 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 there isn't a lock on the lounge door. There isn't a lounge door. That is true. Uh, well, uh, what I'm saying is that, you see, Chrissy, if you think I'm going to take advantage of a situation like this, then, well, you, you can't have a very high opinion of me. That's all I've got to say. Well, if you promise you behave yourself. Chrissy, of course I will. <laughs> all right, then. Good. I think I'll have a shave before. <laughs> You're respectable, yes? Good. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is very nice. <laughs> very comfortable. I don't normally wear pyjamas, but, um, you know, I thought under the circumstances, you know, I better had. I'll, uh, I'll get in then. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is very nice. <laughs> book. Hmm. What's that smell? Huh? Oh, that's me. Um, <laughs> it's the aftershave. Well, you know, I had a quick bath. It might be the top. Well, it, no, it's most probably the deodorant. That does pong a bit. <sighs> God, this is a nice bed. <laughs> What's yours like? You keep your mind off my bed. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <sighs> I see the Fisher's protection bill has passed through the committee stage. What? Well, I've got to the floor of the house now for a second reading, most probably. What are you talking about? I'm just keeping my mind off your bed. Why don't you get a book or something? Oh, yeah, fine. Okay. Where are you going? A book, a book. Just to get a book. I'll take it back there and read. Sex and the single girl. <laughs> What's that about? Church architecture. <laughs> I thought it might be. Oh, dear. I don't know. <laughs> What's this one like? Well, there's not a lot of plot. It's a London street guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is. Well, I've read it anyway. <laughs> this is a very good book. Must be, you're reading it upside down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wasn't really reading it anyway. <laughs> Chrissy? No, Robin. But I haven't said anything. <laughs> you don't have to. Look, they say this is the way a girl can lose a man's respect. Not mine. <laughs> I've got tremendous respect for you. <laughs> and I can feel it coming on right now. Robin, go back to your own bed, please. Well, Chrissy, if you really want me to, I'll go. I do. <laughs> well, then fine, yes. Well, then I'll, uh, I'll go. Good. Here I go, then. <laughs> I'm on my way. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. I'd hate my 
myself in the morning. Yeah, fine. On the other hand, I could lie until the afternoon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I have a little more considerate. <laughs> it's you, Mr. Simmons. Yeah, sorry about that. Bad day. Mm. Oh, by the way, um, I think I know the answer, but uh, I might as well ask you anyway. Uh, that mouse. Mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you haven't killed it, have you? Yeah, yeah, go on, tell us something. Go on. No, 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 still alive. <laughs> I still scampering about somewhere. <laughs> Right? No, son, no, just get, get in there, George. <laughs> we are going to my mother's. <laughs> and he stepped straight onto the mouse trap. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's really terrible. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. Look, she wasn't laughing at you, she was laughing with you. I wasn't laughing. <laughs> sure you're right. Any chance of a copy? Oh, bad time. He's just putting his foot right. <laughs> right in a row. In a mouse trap. And it hurt. <laughs> well, what'd you leave it lying about for? You know I killed the little thing last night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, uh, that's what you didn't want me to say, innit? I see. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, get hold of his other foot, would you? <laughs> what? No! No! 